Hello my friends, welcome to Anna's Violets. In this video we are going to plant these cuttings of Tardiscansia zebrina or inch plant. I'm going to tell you quickly about care tips, the soil and I have here a lot of cuttings which are actually from my previous video about how to make cuttings <laughs> and we're going to plant them right now and if you're for the first time on this channel I'm Anna, I help you grow beautiful and lush plants so join me in this wonderful experience so look at this we have a lot of cuttings here and look at the roots actually I can show you the roots in these jars here like this but also I can show you like this look at the roots absolutely amazing just three cuttings and look at these roots okay these are amazing the pots are this one so yeah they're not really big or 10 point five centimeters actually so eight inches i believe not sure but okay so for the beginning we will just need to add a little bit of soil at the bottom and then very easily put the stems the cuttings in the soil cover with soil and that's it and we will water of course too so for the beginning let's maybe add a little bit of soil at the bottom so that the roots have place to grow and even though these plants are very fast growers they grow very very fast um, basically this pot will be full with roots in just a year but that's absolutely fine you don't need to plant them immediately in a very big pot i will plant this all these nine cuttings actually in one uh in one pot so that we have bushy plant from the very beginning uh, yes, you don't need to grow them or plant them actually in a very big pot from the very beginning because um, they will grow better in a smaller pot. In a very big pot the soil will stay moist or even wet for long, long periods of time and this can cause root rot. Even though these plants are, I would say, yeah, definitely one of the most uh, or e the easiest plants actually to grow especially for beginners but for everyone these plants are just amazing look at these purple leaves it's just amazing now you see that the stems are kind of standing they um, they're straight but definitely these plants are um, the best if you would grow them in a basket as a hanging plant because they are actually trailing so after a month they will be already trailing so this is enough when i water it the soil will you know uh, get lower a little bit so let's water just with this water this will be enough for now i will put it in a bright place but not under the direct sunlight but they these are um, actually this type of tradiscansia i grow on the balcony in semi shade but by semi-shade I don't really mean that it's dark there but just they don't really get um, direct sunlight on them but the area is very bright and that's why you will also see this very nice purple color with silver and it's also kind of shiny look at this this is a bouquet of Tradiscansia and the roots amazing just in a couple of weeks I've seen also uh, not I've seen but I've also shown you uh, how fast these cuttings grew roots uh, I showed you in the first five days after making the cuttings the roots already so if you would like to I would actually link uh, the video on the top left corner of this video so if you want you can go and watch that video too as for the soil I didn't tell you but actually I grow them in miracle grow potting mix sometimes I also add perlite in it but for tradiscansias you know you can definitely choose any type of soil like literally any type of soil they will grow so that's it and I will water it now and they are ready to go if you have any questions please of course write them in the comments I'll make sure to answer them as soon as possible and of course subscribe click on the bell button join our facebook group follow me on facebook uh, by my page and stay patient about plants see you next time